engineering college is, for me, was a real intimate environment. My first year of college was at a, a different school where I had classes in the six, seven, eight hundred person size, and it was just not how I wanted to learn. Generally in some of my classes I have 10 to 20 students and so there's a lot more one-on-one -on -one time. We teach at a high technical level and students are genuinely challenged. You pushed to teach yourself a lot of things and try to um, research into things on your own time and you get a better understanding of it but you also have the opportunity to go talk to a teacher or something like that to kind of fill in the blanks. I believe we have uh, state-of-the-art facilities here. So one of the uh, reasons I chose to come here is because they have a great supercomputing cluster and high performance computer underlies everything that we do in my laboratory. Uh, the 3D visualization lab, it um, pushes com computation or the way we work with computers to the next level. You know, just within the Department of Computer Science, we have wide area tracking systems, small localized tracking systems, head-mounted displays, large-scale immersive displays, brain-computer interface. This device here is a brain scanning device, and it can kind of listen in to the electrical static that your neurons produce when you think. As an experimentalist, I like to combine research in teaching. Um, when I have the opportunity uh, to do some research in uh, what's called autoclave aerated concrete, just really lightly, have little tiny air bubbles. Forces due to earthquakes are proportional to the mass, so your ground shaking will produce significantly smaller forces with the lighter weight structure. With this aircraft, we study a wide variety of, of atmospheric science phenomena. Uh, really, we focus uh, much of our work, probably 50% of our work on cloud physics, uh, looking at interactions between cloud particles and interactions between cloud dynamics, that is, the motions in the cloud. And in all of these areas, we utilize state-of-the-art instruments. As it stands currently, um, virtual reality has been going through this phase of disillusionment. Right now, we more or less use virtual reality uh, in terms of display as just a glorified projector. Virtual reality is going to be the future. We're working on studying natural human movement so that we can be able to de design better gesture-based interfaces. We're also studying to create new tools for scientists to explore and select their data. And many of the labs do not have the same kind of backing that the labs here have. They do not have the same kind of energy that we have. They don't do the same things that we are doing. We, we are very geared towards uh, helping science and pushing science, science forward, making it easy for scientists. I think one of the benefits of having a top tier research university in the state is it means that undergraduates from all over the state can come and learn from some of the best and the brightest scientists in the world. So we're interacting with professors that were both part of Firehole early on and now are contributing differently in new research areas and things like that. So it's really neat for me to see as a student from UW how we took UW technology, spun it out into a company. Now that company has become mainstream and we're working back, it's almost like a complete circle. We're working back and driving more research and new research at the university, funded research. Thank you.